Moving on, we got this post. This is a spicy one. We got the Find the Kids subreddit guys are posting this. I need to actually buy this book, but allegedly Ronda Rousey has a new book out at the moment, and there's an excerpt in it that has a section about Brendan, or as she calls him, ex boyfriend. <laughs> He's not. He doesn't even get mentioned by name. So this is courtesy of the Brendan. Sorry, the Find the Kids subreddit. Um, and let's read the actual segment of where Ronda Rousey talks about Brendan. It says Travis had been training with us for a while. Travis being uh, Travis Brown, her now husband, who she started dating after Brendan. Travis had been training with us for a while when it was announced that his first fight as an official member of our team would be against my ex-boyfriend. My ex thrived on playing fucked up mind games with me when I had a fight coming up and insisted that we hide that we were dating so he wouldn't be labelled as quote-unquote Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. <laughs> that sounds like Brendan, isn't it? Only Brendan would feel inadequate um would feel awkward would feel less than right for being referred to as ronda rousey's boyfriend because at one point ronda rousey was super famous she was literally a you know she was the first kind of ufc probably superstar really especially in the modern age right so you'd imagine if you're brendan why wouldn't you lean into it that you're Bronda Rousey's boyfriend. Why not lean into that and have some of that fame rub off on you? But Brendan wanted him to be equals. He wanted Brendan Schaub name to ring, and he also wanted Ronda Rousey. He wanted his name to ring alongside hers. It's like it's never going to happen. You're not as dominant as hers. You're not as champion. You're not a torchbearer. You're not a fucking. You know. You're none of those things. So it was never going to happen. So just lean into the fact that you're a boyfriend. Use it to your own advantage. And just keep it moving. Not with Brendan though. It continues. As Travis headed into the matchup, I pretended it was, wasn't personal. I tried not to be overly involved or emotional. This wasn't my fight. I was hoping he'd win, but I was in training camp, so I didn't really think too much about it. That is until it was on live TV. And I lost my goddamn mind screaming at the top of my lungs get him travis while the uh, punching uh, while punching the arm of the person on the couch next to me when travis knocked him out at the end of the first round i don't remember it i remember it being very one-sided by the way the fight i didn't remember him knocking him out in the first round fucking hell brendan got battered and bruised in the ufc in it anyway when travis knocked him out at the end of the first round i didn't think it could get any more gratifying my ex covered up on the ground while travis pounded away at him pause the referee waved the match over then travis towering over the crumpled semi-conscious body of my ex leaned down and whispered something in his ear his words were indiscernible to the cameras but i swore i could hear travis brown voice say ronda says fuck you Out here. 15 now it's been disputed whether or not he said that he did say something i remember watching the fight live and you know it was wild to see brendan splayed out on his belly and travis brown just punching in the back of his head and brendan having no idea where he's at kind of thing and covering up and i think brendan actually at the end of that travis brown fight i think brendan was actually pissed off with the ref i think he was pissed the ref stopped it because he said he was still communicating with the ref. Like, I think I remember him being annoyed actually when the when the ref passed off the fight. He thought you could still carry. I was like, bro, you were on your belly, like at the end of the first round. I think there was like two minutes to go or something. Like there was a long time to go. There was no way you were getting up from there. Absolutely. Um, so, but do, I do remember at the end, Travis Brown said something. It almost felt like Brendan was like, "I was just messing, man. It's just a fight. It's just a fight." And Travis was like saying something else to him. Travis said something. I, you know, I don't know if it was R Ronda says fuck you, but he definitely didn't have nice words to say about him. But God almighty, mate. Everywhere Brendan goes, he leaves a bad impression. Even though Ronda Rousey is, uh, you know, doesn't seem like the easiest. She's not the most likable person in the world. Brendan seems to have a constant thing where everybody that runs into him that doesn't make money off him or who isn't trying to be his friend to suck up to rogan they don't have nice things to say about him think about it anybody that has nice things to say about brendan is either getting paid by him or is his friend because he's friends with rogan i think brendan would be in for a real shock 
if it ever came out, like imagine if if him and Rogan, imagine if Brendan and Rogan had a real public falling out. I think Brendan will be shocked by the amount of people that dropped him or will stop answering his calls the moment it's known that Joe Rogan actually doesn't fuck with him anymore. He'd be really surprised because I think he doesn't, he probably underestimates how many people put up with him because of the Rogan thing. And it's still true to this day. Look at Luis J. Gomez. Luis J. Gomez was getting absolutely no love from Rogan. Luis J. Gomez had skank, had, um, what do you call it? Um, the fucking, um, whatever their fucking podcast is on. He had those guys on as he had them on together. Um, but then he, he would never have Luis J. Gomez on separately because he was obviously dunking on Brendan a lot. Then the moment Luis J. Gomez made up with Brendan and he invited him to Skankfest, suddenly Luis J. Gomez gets invited to Rogan. So even though Brendan and Rogan aren't that close as they once were, it's still beneficial for you if you're involved in the entertainment industry or you're involved in comedy to be on Brendan's good side. Let's be honest, talking crow about her Rex and getting beat up by her new BF after is embarrassing. As men, we can all admit how embarrassing that is. Oh, 100%. 100%. To be fair, the UFC also did him dirty. This feels like a... That felt a bit vindictive from the UFC side of things. Maybe from Dana or somebody else. Like, to match Brendan up with fucking Ronda Rousey's ex. Like, come on. Like, come on, man. That's not fair. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is unfair. So clearly and and it was a clear mismatch like travis brown is like infinitely better than brendan and travis brown isn't even that good you know that's the that's a really sad thing about brendan's ufc career travis brown ran through brendan but travis brown isn't even that good and he made he made light work of brendan absolutely light work so yeah but brendan but it's the way he ended too that's the embarrassing part i think it would have been less embarrassing if he got knocked out straight away but the fact that he had him spread out on his belly, nowhere to go, and just was pummeling him in the back of his head, that had to have hurt. That had to have hurt the ego. And of course, at the end, he said something bad to him, to his ear. Oh, I wish it was nowadays. We definitely would have been able to hear it. But fucking hell, that was super, super embarrassing. But I just love the idea that Brendan wasn't happy to be referred to as Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. Like... In what, only Brendan, again, this is another sign of his delusion. Only Brendan could think that him and Ronda Rousey were of equal levels of fame. I'm sure he thought that. I'm sure there was a part of him that legitimately thought him and Brendan were like, sorry, that they, they were like equal, you know? There's nothing different about them. It's like, what? What? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Playing your role is actually a good thing. Knowing that somebody's more famous than you and playing your role, especially as a partner, can actually help both of you. It actually is beneficial if you're able to kind of, you know, step back when needed to step back. Talking about stepping back, look at this clip. Because the person uploaded this, Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. Look at this clip of them on the red carpet for some Maxim event back in the day. Look at this. You see what happened there? The moment Ronda went by herself, the ca the paparazzi started to scream her name more. They didn't really want to take a picture of them two together. It was kind of quiet, but they were afraid to tell Brenda to fuck off because he's an MMA fighter. I mean, he'll fucking break your face. But the moment Brenda stepped back, they all of a sudden got excited because they could they could get a clear shot of her. Listen again. By the way, who's the baddie on the corner? Who's the baddie over there, eh? The fucking rubber titties are sitting. Ronda for MMA, right here, UFC, baby. Ronda, what's up, the fuck Look at, oh, look how pissed he is. Look at how, look at that chin. You know that chin, innit? You know that, you know that chin. Look at that chin. He is not happy, innit? Come on, babe, let's, let's go. Come on, babe, let's go. Come on, babe, let's go, let's go. 
<laughs> Look at Brendan's. Look at the chin. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps trying to get her to move but she's in demand she's a fucking star they want pictures of her bro get out the way man back off back down man go go and fucking check on the fucking car outside look at him look look him in the corner look at the long face <laughs> You can tell she's not that girly, isn't it? Because they, they they told her to get the side of the dress and she's flexing her calves. They're obviously telling her to give them the side profile, stick out the bam bum a little bit. But, you know, Ronda being the ultimate tomboy, she's flexing her calf muscles. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they don't want your calf muscles. They want your fucking bum. You know what I mean? They, they want your side profile. <laughs> they want a bit of a hot girl look, but she's too much of a tomboy. She can't handle it. <laughs> She's like, look, look, guys, look, 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 look at definition. <laughs> Brenda keeps trying to, Brenda keeps trying to. Get, what you're meant to do, by the way, what you're meant to do, what you're meant to do, as a partner, from what I've seen on these red carpet things, when you're dating somebody very popular who's more popular than you, especially if it's a woman. You're meant to get your picture in and then you're meant to walk to the end where they're when they're gonna go. Where where all the you know, where all the fucking PR girls are and shit. You're meant to go to the end and then wait for them there. You're not meant to just like keep pushing them as they go down the fucking thing. You, you make them feel uncomfortable. Let them have their moment. Move out of the way, stand at the end, watch from afar, then when they finish, you go in together. It's not that big of a deal. But Brendan was upset that he wasn't getting asked for a picture. You know what I mean? He was pissed, like pissed look at that face look at that sour puss look at that he looks like he's sucking he, he's sucking on a lemon he was sucking on a lemon look how angry he is <laughs> oh look at that look look at the look he gave to the person behind look at that he's so mad he's so pissed he's sulking look at him he's sulking papa young papa sulking Oh, fucking brilliant, man. And allegedly, I think there's another comment. I think somebody left on the front of his sub that I think she's, she, I think allegedly she's written two books or something. And I think in her first book, she mentioned how Brendan didn't let her, Brendan was, didn't like that she wasn't, Brendan will try to make her too girly. He tried to make her wear dresses and all this sort of stuff. It's like, yeah, classic, isn't it? Classic, 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 classic. Instead of just loving somebody as they are and appreciating them for who they are, Brendan comes in and tries to change them. It's like, bro, if you want if you want a girl that likes to wear dresses and, I don't know, makeup and get her boob done, then go, you know, date your wife that you're with now. You don't need to change somebody and how they are. But, hey, what can you do? Big up Rhonda. Big up Brendan. They all, they all landed where they're meant to land, didn't it? She got Travis... He got the fucking Mexican, so everything's all good. Everything's good. <laughs>